Hello everyone, this is the Great Rig here, and I welcome you all to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Gaiden Iron Man. It's been a while since I've played this game. And I'm just gonna say I this wasn't originally the fifth episode, this was the sixth episode, but well, the sixth episode got kinda well the fifth episode I fucked up and the audio didn't record at all. And so that's scrapped. So, unfortunately, we missed the first couple of fights on Celica's route. But let me just go quickly over each unit. Alright. Oh, wait. Let me go to data. Yeah. So, we have Celica, who is honestly pretty good. Like, she's honestly pretty good. I've leveled her up a bit, but. And I gave her a leather shield for defense. And honestly, it's done her a good amount of charm. Uh, then you've got Bowie, who... Honestly, like, I gave him the speed fountain at the very start of Nova Shrine. And, well... His... And he just has a simple fire spell. But overall, he's got decent stats. Oh. Let me go back... Then you've got Jenny, your cleric. Uh, for a cleric, she's okay. She's got Nosferatu to and recover, so... Eh, make it that what you will. And then you've got the speed demon, May, who, honestly... She will just obliterate stuff if she can hit, because... She only has one skill. Like, she only has one skill, and in this game, unlike Echoes... In Gaiden, you do not have the, um, you don't have the magic evades terrain shit. So, if a monster is on a gravestone, fat chance of them being hit. And then you have Saber, who, yeah, do you see these stats? He's got close to ten in three different stats. Of course he's god tier. But now, let's go. And yeah, it feels so weird to have it recording in the background like this, cause I can see, cause I have OBS open right now, and it just looks so weird. Like, yeah. So yeah, there are. So for this map, we have these guys. We have Valbo who. Honestly is okay. He's he's a knight, so he's of course got high defense and high strength. Then you've got Kamui who Honestly if a saber dies, he's still pretty good. Then you've got Leo Leo who is a good archer. And so let's get on with this with I always have Saber and Bowie. Well, actually, I'll have Saber and May together this time. Actually, no, it's still gonna be Saber and Bowie. What am I saying? So yeah, and as you got, and so far I've not lost anyone. This has just been my starting party of Saber, Bowie, May, Jenny, and Salka. And yeah, this first turn is rather boring, but. Gives you time to prepare. Alright, and the- Oh yeah, the boss is now on the healing tile because the boss never moves from the healing tile at all. Okay, they're all going towards Celica. Ugh. It's- I just woke up while I'm recording this, so forgive the little bits of yawns and everything. I just felt like I had to start recording. And now Valbo attacks. So, yeah, that's a pretty good 12 damage. That's like usually half an enemy's life. And he doesn't take much in return. So, then there's that guy. Yep, 8 damage. And he's gonna kill that thief. 
the person you have to worry about the most is Leon. Who... I... Yeah. Who deals 9 damage, so yeah, he's pretty good. Alright. So, first things first. Bowie kill. And... 11 damage. And a dodge. Well, fuck. Alrighty. So there's that. And... Saber. Yeah, Saber's gonna get the kill. It's... And again, the EXP in this game is not very much, so... Let's see... 21. Actually, it's kind of decent. Like, people will say, oh, it's slow, but that's because... It kind of rewards you more for killing than it does for just straight-up damage dealing. And that's a crit. 21 EXP. You know what? I'm gonna see how May does. Good old... And... Dead. Easy as pie. On the... Yeah. So, we've got a fair amount dead already. And let's go. Okay, those guys are attacking from behind, and I somehow got something in my fingers. Great. Okay, just one damage to Celica. Six damage. Celica finishes, and six more damage. Not bad. 4 EXP. Yeah, it's only the skirmish damage that isn't so good because this game isn't about, like, this game rewards you more for killing than it does just straight up dealing damage. Which is something other Fire Emblems don't really do. Come on. Uh, sorry, my work rang up on me. So. Good old. Oh, come on. Yeah, and that's just only four damage, so that's not so good. And that first thief's going after Leo. It only deals five damage, so. But unfortunately, that one's a level five thief, so of course Leo doesn't double it. 9 damage, and a dodge. Yep. And, okay, killing level 1. Yep, that's one down. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get everyone alive. It's kind of rare when that does happen. Like, especially in an Iron Man, but... I'm gonna try my best. Oh, come on, dude. You've got a guy... Son of a bitch. Alright. First attack of fire. Eleven. Eleven. And another kill. Fifteen XP, not bad. Alright. And also, I think female units get more EXP because, well, they kind of need more, um, they're, they need to be level 20 before they can promote, usually. Most male units are like, ooh, level 12, you can promote. And honestly, you're not going to hesitate to promote. Because, well, there's no point. Right, come on, hit. Ooh, shit, nice. Now, of course, it's almost impossible to level up healers because... What the fuck is healing EXP in this game? <laughs> Alright, come on, hit. And that's another dead guy. Good EXP for Celica. And let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Yeah, as I said, Leo is the most likely one to get hit, so we're not going to have an archer. Rip Leo. And that guy's after Celica. Hmm. And go on. There we go. Yeah, Rip Leo. Yep, so we've lost one guy that we can recruit. And there we go. You know, I'm gonna start in the, like, after Act 3, knowing who we've lost, because. Honestly, keeping track of that would be very helpful. Okay, now Leo, now Valbo's getting revenge for Leo. And... Just one damage. Oh, doubles. Great. And... But yeah, you might think, oh, wouldn't it have been possible to get, uh, to get Leo if I hadn't turtled? Mm, not really. I say that because getting Leo in this is kind of RNG dependent. You're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place when you're, when you're recruiting him. Because they're all, he's always going to be the first one they call, um, attack, and if you just try to go straight for the enemy... They will, and I repeat, they will basically just kill whoever. Okay, come on. Bowie hit. Yes. Excuse me. And hey, Bowie's got a level up. Level 3, magic up 1, skill up 1, HP up 1, and learned lightning magic. So now he can attack from 3 range, which is really good. Alright, and recover. And here we go. And they're gonna go after Kamui next because... Oh wait, they're going to go heal. Except for that guy, he's going after Kamui. Because he can actually deal damage and not get killed. Everyone else, however, Kamui's gonna kill. And stuff was falling off of the place next to me, so once. Yep, so that's a kill for Valbo. Yeah. So we're, th we're without an archer, which won't be too bad, I'm not gonna lie. Six damage. And there we go. And, can Jenny reach? No. But you know what? I'm gonna go on ahead and start killing shit. Cause, honestly, this is going to be a long, long let's play if, if things don't start dying. Alright, go on. Okay, Valbo will kill that guy because he's at 1 HP. And there we go. Alright, Saber there. Not quite there yet. Jenny, here we go. So, so far we've only lost one... So this is our first death on Celica's side, unlike the massacre of the end of, a of Act 1. But... <sighs> but for now, I'd say we're doing pretty good for ourselves. And they're, of course, going after... So yeah, I'm just going to show you... 
Oh. Yep, okay. Daha was not hit. And I'm gonna have... I should really have Saber going this way. And that's an end, because I can't really have Jenny doing... Alrighty. And only three damage. Not bad. And only uh, two damage isn't too bad either. So I got one EXP. And they're so close. So there we go. One, two, th three with some good old black magic. 14 damage dealt. Nice. And here we go. Fire. 11. And so close, but no cigar. And here we go. <sighs> And of course, Valbo's going to go and try to kill. But he can't kill because he's not fast enough. But luckily, Daha doesn't really take. Or Daha doesn't deal much damage either. So. I'm just gonna have May attack this guy. 6 EXP, level up, reach level 3, magic up 1, skill up 1. Nice. And you know what? I'm just gonna attempt to Nosferatu here. And oh my god, holy shit Jenny, nice. And 57 EXP. Reach level 3, magic up 1, defense up 1. Boss died, run. Alrighty. So, real quick, we're just gonna save, continue playing, and move on. And... Yep, which I'm not close to having yet. And Saber gets that steel sword. And is there anything else around here? No. Alrighty. And now we enter the worst fucking map of this game. Worst map of any Fire Emblem, really. This motherfucker. You see... What's so bad about this motherfucker is... Yeah. You see, he's on a healing tile. You hear that sweet, sweet victory music, right? Well, good luck hitting him. And there's also a little nasty surprise. Oh, so I should... Yeah. Oh, I went, went over Kamui and Valbo. They are decent. Saber right there. And there we go. And let's get going. Bowie right there. This music. This music is evil. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just the fact that they're like, hey. Here we go. Unless I've glitched the game somehow, because if I've glitched the game and this guy doesn't do what he usually does, I'm gonna laugh. 
Like, this will be the first time I've seen that- I've seen a glitch of that, and I'm just gonna be like... Because uh. usually you don't make it this far before he summons. Because, yeah, this guy's a summoner. Or, shaman. And he is... Yeah, because they put... Oh, they don't tell you his class, they just say that he's a shaman, but yeah, he's a shaman and... Well... They summon stuff in this game. What the hell? You know... I think I glitched the game. Oh my god, I glitched the fucking game! I just made the worst map ever. I spoke too fucking soon. But hey, it's only one of these motherfuckers, so... Let's do this shit. 13 damage. And... Kill. Okay, he didn't crit, but hey, he's gonna level up. Power defense up one. Not bad. Okay, Celica attack. And you might be at saying that magic might be a good thing to deal against him because he's got some freaking... Oh, let's see his level up. Skill up one, speed up one. Yeah. But you see his res is nine. So, fat chance hitting him. Alrighty. Now, hit, hit, hit. Of course not. Dora was cast. 15. Dora was cast. And that was stupid. Rip Valbo. Now, luckily, others won't. Now, luckily, Kamui won't be hit as easily. And in fact, he hits back, so good shit. But yeah, I've lost a, I've lost two people this this chapter, this episode. That's just great. Okay, come on, big hurdy lightning time. Come on, May. Yeah, the perfect opportunity for big hurdy lightning. Okay. There we go. And... In one second, I've just gotta... I forgot to have my window open, so... There we go. Sorry. I was hearing my dad talk on the other end, and... I don't like eavesdropping on his conversations. So, yeah, we've lost Valbo and Leo today. Kind of not the best way to end things. But hey, it looks like things are improving for now. And he gives massive EXP, which is always very nice. So come on and hit. 6 EXP. Nice. And there we go. But you know, good news is there's always revival shrines. There's always revival shrines. So, come on, Kamui. You can hit him. Someone will hit him. Okay, so, surprisingly, this map wasn't as bad as it usually gets. Level 4, defense up 1. Shaman conquered. And it's under the 30 minute mark, so... Yeah. Mm. I'll be back for that Sea Shrine battle. For now, though, we've got a bigger battle in our midst. The battle of killing a fuck ton of enemies. 
So, yeah, I'm just gonna gather the party around. Looks like Kamui is gonna be our big defense this time, especially because Valbo is dead. Rip Valbo. But yeah, usually that guy summons like six or seven undead at a time, or like like four or so in data time and he usually takes forever to kill. The fact that he didn't take forever to kill is one of the biggest amazing is like amazing to me. Oh shit. Okay. That's some bad damage for Jenny. Alright, come on. Eight. Eight. 60 XP. And yeah, since we're on like a lesser EXP mode because I forgot to set the code, like forgot to set stuff up for that. Oh, okay, come on, Jenny kill. Jenny's been hitting, holy shit, like she's got a sub 50 hit chance and the fact that she hits like a truck is nothing short of a miracle to me. So, come on and hit. Seven damage. Archer. And there we go. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Celica. Fire. And there we go there. So yeah, not this has this wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I probably shouldn't have sent Valbo against that one that shaman, but good news, there's revival shrines in this game. And I'm pretty sure I'm close to one, so I could get both Leo and Valbo back if I play my cards right. But again, I might be wrong about that. That might not be till Act 3. Someone correct me on that. And here we go. Okay, Mercenary versus Mercenary. Looks like Saber's the better one. 10 damage. Oh, he doubles Saber. Shit. Yeah, if something doubles Saber, that means shit serious. Okay, gonna move Kamui back. And I'm gonna move Celica ahead because... Well... Ooh, critical. Thank you, Celica. And she gains 24 EXP. Not bad. And now let's do this. And yeah, that's gonna be a kill because yeah, if if she if they don't have two life bars, that means they've only got 26 exp or 26 hp, not exp. And a bit of a risky move. I'm gonna put this right there. And I just heard my puppy wake up. So after this episode's done, I'm gonna go play with the puppy a bit. Okay, come on. Two damage. Eleven. Eleven. Alright. And Saber's been doing pretty good so far. Good stuff. You know what? I'm gonna try this just because I'm crazy. I'm gonna try to Nosferatu this guy. Who knows, it might hit. Eh. Worth a shot. Does Selica- Okay, Selica only knows fire at this moment. But I'm gonna try big hurdy lightning. And that's a death. There we go. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm not over. That should have been the hit saber. 13 damage, good stuff. There we go. And hey, now I can send Bowie in there to be an assist. So I'm just gonna have him attack one of the mercenaries. And of course he misses because this game does not want me hitting stuff. And... There we go. Hmm. Two damage. And there we go. Close! Close enough. Alrighty. And I'm gonna have to get Saber's Retreat after this, I know. Mm. One. And that's a kill. Let's see what he gets for level up, though. Level four, speed up one, HP up one. Good. Oof. 11 damage. And... I'm just gonna do this. Come on and hit. Oh, come on! Really, Bowie? You don't have to keep missing. What I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna heal my good old saber buddy here, because he needs it. And let's see what happens here from afar. And that's a death. Okay, good, good. Okay, maze close. Celica needs this now. Come on, hit. Hit Celica, hit. Not quite. Okay. That's okay for right now. But I will have uh, Saber kill this guy just so that sh he doesn't try to kill Jenny. Because I will not have another healer die on my watch. And what level is Bowie? Three? Okay, they're all level three except for my mercenaries. And there we go. And turn. Come on, Bowie, give him some fire. And there we go. But yeah, so this has been the Great Rika. Sorry that I kind of lost episode f the original episode five. Hopefully, this makes up for it. But before you know it, we should be finished with this chapter. So, I will see you guys next time. This has been The Great Rick, and I bid you a farewell. Hopefully we have less deaths. Night.